Welcome back to the channel. So what I've done here is created an open source web development degree. Now I got this idea from a guy by the name of Forrest Knight, who's also a YouTuber. And uh, he did something called the open source computer science degree. So there'll be a link in the description there, but also uh, on the GitHub repo, it will be linked as well. So all of these resources are all free and open source. Um, and I think we'll just kind of go through them and you can check out the repo on your own. And uh, if you have a pull request or think something's a, a better resource than what we have here, feel free to uh, do add that. So feel free to do that if you so choose. So let's go through all this and we'll just uh, kind of show you uh, each of the different little sections here. So to start off, you're going to need to know some HTML and CSS basics here. So we got two uh, courses here, both by Codecademy, which I, I think is a pretty good source when you're just starting out and really know nothing at all. So this first one here is a um, HTML course, and this will just be the very basics of that. Uh, they, says it, they say it's nine hours and no prerequisites there. Um, so go through this if you feel like that. Let's see what it looks like. So basically how this course is gonna work is you're gonna have this editor open once you uh, sign up. So you can go through the different exercises and it will tell you if you are doing things uh, correct or not. So it's got a little description of what they want um, and then they'll have the instructions of how to handle that. So it says in the code editor to the right, type your name in between H1 and then plus run. So we'll just say Darwin. Uh, and then we just go ahead and press this run button and you can see it show up there. And uh, yeah, then you just move on from that. So that is the HTML, which is good. CSS is gonna be uh, kind of the exact same thing. You'll be going through and starting this up like that. So this CSS course is gonna be the exact same thing. You're gonna go through and add different styles to these uh, different um, uh, DOM elements. All right, so that is that for the beginner uh, HTML and CSS basics right there. Uh, and then I have down here uh, projects, possible projects to build. Now feel free to build uh, them however you like. No need to stick to this one, but these are just suggestions of things you can try. And I think this might be the most important part is actually putting the knowledge to use and trying things out because that's how you're actually going to learn. So here I just have build a Google search page uh, or any other homepage website, homepage that uh, you like um, and just style it up as closely as possible. All right, so then we get into JavaScript basics over here and we got some good courses here. Uh, this is just a JavaScript uh, crash course for beginners. So this is uh, from Travis Steep Media, which many of you might know, pretty big time uh, YouTuber in the uh, tech YouTube space. Um, and it's just a crash course, so watch that. It's uh, a little bit older, but I think it still holds pretty good, and he's a, a very good teacher, so I would recommend that. Then we have uh, JavaScript 30 here, which is uh, West, a course by Wes Boss, and here you're actually gonna, now it's, uh, it's free, but you do have to sign up, um, but uh, no worries, there's no cost to it whatsoever, so it's part of this as well. And basically you're just gonna build a bunch of different projects, um, I think, 30 so 30 different projects and I'll give you a ton of experience actually building things out and he walks you through those things pretty good along with having coding solutions as well so that's good uh, and then there's another one here called JavaScript Express and this is a, a nice little site here um, and it has it's kind of like documentation but it has a bunch of exercises with each of these different things so it allow you to uh, look and actually run some code and uh, do some little exercises and stuff so that is uh, super useful and actually takes you through and make sure you're putting stuff into practice which i think is pretty key when you're learning so with these three i think you'll have a good um, basis of javascript and then I've also added some additional resources to some of these, which is uh, here's the MDN uh, documentation, which is awesome. There's also tutorials and stuff if you feel you need a little more work. And then another project uh, where you can build a game such as Pong or Hangman or something. Um, but feel free just to build whatever you want with the technology. It's not uh, specific. I would suggest building something that excites you because that way you'll stick with it. All right, and then we're moving on to front end. And with the front end here, I chose React.js because uh, right now I'd say React basically won the uh, framework wars. Um, that might be controversial, 
but uh, it's definitely the most widely used uh, framework for front end JavaScript. So that's what we're teaching. Uh, if you want to learn something else, that's totally fine. There's uh, plenty of good options out there. Um, so we start with a beginner's guide uh, with React Hoax, which is uh, Colt Steel, another big time uh, kind of YouTuber course guy. Uh, and this is free and it's just kind of a follow along YouTube video. And then we have uh, React Express, which is just like the JavaScript uh, Express we saw with JavaScript, which will take you through all the different stuff here. Use hooks, it's pretty up to date. So I would suggest this as a, a very good resource as well. Uh, and then some more additional resources. The React docs are great. Uh, there's a free Code Camp React uh, course too. Um, it's a little bit outdated. I don't think it uses hooks or anything. Um, and then I have uh, just tossed in my own video there for uh, a little self promotion. All right, so then you'll have your kind of front end there and then we're gonna need some node and back end. So come over here and we have some more tutorials here. We got uh, again, just kind of a, a basis. That's kind of how I started it. So I'd have a kind of a overview course, uh, pretty short just to watch and then uh, some more work that you can actually uh, physically do. Free Code Camp has uh, a good little course here, which I think is good. And then this uh, tutorial, which is a written tutorial, I think can be helpful too. Again, some more uh, additional resources and some extra projects. And then finally, we're gonna be able to connect to a database. So there's a Postgres uh, tutorial here. Uh, Free Code Camp has a good one there. Uh, and then another one, and then I just tossed in some MongoDB in case you want a kind of a different style of uh, database there. So those are basically all the different things that we have for this. Uh, feel free to go to the GitHub and add suggestions if you like. Uh, some additional suggestions over here uh, for any of the tutorials, uh, make sure you change things up a little bit if you can. It will just kind of implant the knowledge a little bit deeper if you're not just copying blindly uh, word or code for code. So that is all we have for this. Uh, feel free to make suggestions in the comments and stuff if you want to see different things as well. But uh, thanks for watching and hopefully this is useful.